Hello, hello. My name is Robert and uh, today mm, I will try to create um, something interesting with my own uh, modular um, synthesizer system called uh, Noxiden. So to, uh, right now I want to actually try to make something on the spot. Um, I'm not prepared for this at all, so I will just improvise using the modules and everything. So let's get into the business. So first of all, we need to check our DSP if it is off or on. So currently it's off. Okay. Now let's add an output deck to hear the sound. Okay. Now, what do we need? Um, we need some oscillators to make some sounds. So I have this oscillator. Um, okay. And we also need uh, some kind of envelope for the oscillator. Because now if I connect uh, the oscillator to the master, and we try to see the sound, it, it hears like this. So, it, so basically it's continuous. Okay. Good. Turn it off. Now let's add the ADSR envelope. Now we need some kind of keyboard to control, MIDI keyboard to control the oscillator that we have. Right now I'm not using a polyphonic MIDI keys because I just want to try to make something more simple. So uh, let's make some room for the MIDI keys. Now I have the MIDI keys, I can connect the mini the pitch of the MIDI key to the PCO. Now we need to connect the velocity to our ADSR. Now we need to add uh, an amplifier so the ADSR can control the amplifier. Okay. Okay. Now we have the amplifier, now let's connect the envelope to the amplifier, like this. And now we have a very nice triangle wave. Let's set the ADSR, some 1500 milliseconds, an attack, some kind of decay, sustain release. And now let's connect the output. Turn the volume down, not to clip our ears. Okay. Now let's play it. Wow. <laughs> it sounds very interesting. Okay, let's make it more and more interesting. So now, okay, let's mute the DSP off. Let's put mute here. Now let's add um, a string module, carpal strong string module, like this, and let us combine the two. So I want to combine basically the VCO with the strings, so we have a more interesting instrument. So we need a mixer for that, so now we can uh, have a mixer here. Now let's connect the... Uh, Let's mix a triangle wave with the square wave. Let's add some pulse white modulation for the square wave. And um, now let's add also the string to it. Let's add a little bit of triangle, a little bit of square, and a little bit of um, string. Now we need to connect our MIDI keys to the string, and now we need to connect the envelope to our string 
let's set up a very interesting screen like this okay and now let's see the output like this turn on the midi keys turn on the dsp perfect unit okay that sounds quite interesting mm -hmm. okay let's make some more room now I have a feedback modulation unit let's connect the VCA okay let's add the gain delay time a little bit of feedback volume okay Turn the MIDI keys, then the DSP. Okay. some kind of um, frequency modulation to our VCO I think it can get a little bit more interesting so let's um, the MIDI keys turn the DSP off okay let's try this insanity uh, let's add actually let's add uh, uh, almost like a higher frequency um, modulation frequency modulation so I don't want to use a low frequency oscillator for this I want to use a more complex uh, VCO for that so let's uh, have this one uh, so this have a different kinds of waves so here I have a sine triangle wave a sine square wave a sine sawtooth wave and a triangle square wave let's use a triangle square uh, wave to have a frequency modulation our, on our uh, first uh, VCO Okay, let's hook everything up. Nice. A little bit of pulse modulation. And now let's activate the frequency modulation for this. Let's adjust a little bit to see how it sounds. Turn the DSP on. <laughs>
is saying it, it can go. Wow, very interesting. Uh, let's see if we add only amplitude modulation to the VCO. Hmm. Wow, that sounds really cool. Now let's bump it up. Let's add more strings to it. VCO uh, detune, not a detune VCO, but let's add a VCO that has a continuous flow and has a higher frequency to it. Let's see how that works. Mm. VCO. Now let's connect. Uh, uh, tri triangle. Let's try triangle. Let's add a curved uh, ADSR. ADSR. Okay. Maybe this. Now I connect the velocity. And let's make it um, 100 milliseconds. And let's put the curve 3. Let's put a short attack. Long decay, sustain, long release. And now let's put this. Okay. This is uh, changing the audio resolution basically. Okay. Bit depth gain. Let's uh, put it. Bam, bam, bam. Okay.
Let's change the, the triangle here. Let's add this saw. That could be interesting. So there you go, so this is the modular system that I'm talking about, Noxiren, and uh, yeah, you will you will be able to download it, it's, it is for free, and uh, yeah, that's it, like I'm not going into details about how to make every module, but if you're really really interested, uh, interested in this, I can actually make a video about this in very high detail. And explain to you how I made this and how to make your own modules and in fact the system is so flexible that you can add your own modules to it and that's pretty easy and you can make a ton of stuff so there are many many modules this, these are just a little bit of modules that I use and of course uh, uh, it's a lot of experimenting and that's the key point of it so thank you bye bye